Good day, my viewers. We are back to our channel, Alifax Teaches. Today is going to be our mathematics day, where we are going to be talking about finding a quadratic equation with given roots. Before we dive in into this topic proper, if you are a member on this channel, kindly please subscribe to my channel and share to your loved ones. Now let's proceed. Example 1. Find the quadratic equation whose roots are minus 2 and plus 2. To so look for this quadratic equation, you are given the roots. And don't forget, in solving quadratic equation, after you finish your answer, you are going to get your value of the unknown, maybe x equals to something. So those values you got, they are what we call roots of that equation. Now, to solve this, we are going to say let x or any unknown letter to be equal to minus 2 or s to be equal to plus 2. So the next thing to do is to move in minus 2 and plus 2. So we have s when minus 2 crosses the equal to plus 2 is equal to 0. Or x when this one crosses into minus, minus 2 equals to 0. Now we take them together and equate them to 0. Open your bracket x plus 2 and x minus 2 equals to 0. So we multiply this out. Let's take this value of x to multiply everything here, x minus 2. Likewise, let's take plus 2 to multiply out x minus 2 is equal to 0. So we have s times x, x squared. This sign here is positive. Plus multiplied by minus, we have minus. 2 multiplied by x multiplied by 2, we have 2x. This one is done. Move to this. Plus times plus, plus. 2 times s, 2x. Plus times minus, we have minus. 2 times 2, we have 4. It equals to 0. Now, we have s squared. You can see that minus 2s and plus 2x. This has a value of s. This has a value of x. Minus 2s plus 2x. As I used to explain, when you are to add them together in terms of x, neglect that x and just assume we have minus 2 and plus 2. Minus 2 means you are holding 2 naira, plus 2 means you have 2 naira with you. If you put 2 naira you are away from the 2 naira you have with you, everything to remain 0. Meaning that minus 2s times with plus 2x. You will left with minus 4 is equal to 0. So this is the quadratic equation for these roots, minus 2 and plus 2. Next question, example 2. Find the quadratic equation whose roots are 2 over number 1 over 2 and minus 1. The way we solve the first example is still the same way. Let's, let's say y now, our unknown, to be equal to 2 over number 1 over 2, or y to be equal to minus 1. Now let this one comes in. Why? The, there's a positive sign here. When it's crossed into minus 2 over 1 over 2, it's equal to 0. Or y, when this one crosses into plus 1, equals to 0. So we have y minus 2 times 2, we have 4. 4 plus 1, 5 over 2, equals to 0. Or y plus 1, equals to 0. Now let's take them together. Open your bracket. y minus 5 over 2. Open your bracket again. y plus 1 equals to 0. Now let me take this value, y, multiply by the whole of this, y plus 1. Now take this value minus 5 over 2, put your bracket y plus 1 is equals to 0. y multiply by y, we are going to have y squared. There's a positive sign here, plus times plus, we have plus. y multiply by 1, we have y. So when a letter it's multiplying 1. It's going to give you letter letter. Instead of writing 1y, as a mathematics student, you write that letter, which is y. Now we are done with this. Let's move on to this. The sign is minus. Minus times plus, we have minus. And look at this. 5 over 2 multiplied by y. Let me see over 1. So the numerator will multiply each other. 5 times y, 5y, divided by 2 times 1, we have 2. That is, 5y over y will be 5 times y, we have 5y then, divided by 2. 
get to this minus times plus minus. The same way I explain this, 5 times 1, we have 5 divided by this 2. Then we put it to 0. But look at this. We have some fractions here. 5 pi over 2, 5 over 2. So what are we going to do? Let us assume this one is over 1, over 1. Then we look for the LCM of 1 and 2. So this is 1, 1, this is 2, 2. And the LCM is 2. Then we now multiply through. You multiply through by 2. 2 multiplied by y squared over 1 plus 2 multiplied by y over 1 minus 2 multiplied by 5y over 2 minus 2 multiplied by 5 over 2 is equal to 0. 2 times y squared, we have 2y squared plus 2 times y, 2y. 2 cancel 2, we'll be left with minus 5y. 2 cancel 2, we'll be left with minus 5 is equal to 0. So this value and this value are the same. So we are going to have 2y squared. Now, plus 2y is like saying plus 2, then minus 5, 5. Plus 2, I have 2 naira with me, minus 5, I'm owing someone 5 naira. If I pay 2 naira to 5 naira, to remember what? 3 naira that I'm owing the person. That is minus 3. Because we have y in terms of y, minus 3y, then minus 5 is equal to Zero. So this is the correct equation for this root 2 over 1 over 2 and minus 1. Example 3. If 3 is a root of the equation, s squared minus kx plus 42 is equal to 0. So in this question, we want to find the value of k and the other root of the equation. Now don't forget this is one of the roots of that equation. The equation is s squared minus kx plus 42 is equal to 0. Let our x equals to 3, this 3. Now, let us we now substitute the value of this 3 into this equation to get the value of x. So we have x, we have 3, this power 2, minus k multiplied by 3, plus 42 is equal to 0. 3 is power 2 means 3 times 3, we have 9, minus 3k, plus 42, is equal to 0. So we are having minus 3k, plus 42, plus 9, equals to 0, like by collecting like terms, minus 3k, when we add them together, we are going to get plus 51, equals to 0. Now let's take plus 51 out, minus 3k, this one moves out, we have equals to minus 51. I need to get my k. I'm going to divide both sides by minus 3. So we have minus 3k divided by minus 3 is equal to minus 51 divided by minus 3. Minus cancel minus 3 goes in 3. Minus cancel minus 3 here 1. 3 in 5 we have 1. Remainder 2. 3 in 21 we have 7. So the value of k equals to 17. Fine. We can get our equation by substituting the value of k into this, so we have s squared minus our k is 17x plus 42 is equal to 0. Now, we've gotten our equation, that we've gotten our value of k, and the other roots of the equation is what we want to get. Don't forget, when your s equals to 3, when this 3 moves in, we're going to have x minus 3 is equal to 0, isn't it? So s minus 3 is a factor is a factor of s squared minus 17x plus 42 is equal to 0. To get the other factors and through which we get other roots, if by doing a long division, we have a long division this way, put the value here, s squared minus 17x plus 42 divided by x minus 3. So let's, let's go together to look at the way to undergo this long division method. x goes in s squared, meaning that s squared divided by x, this x times one of this x, we will be left with s. So x goes in s squared, we have x. Then this s, we multiply both of these values. s times s, we have s squared. x times minus 3, minus 3 
S. The next thing is to subtract. Multiply 2 by this negative. Positive is 10. Minus times plus, we have minus. Minus times minus, we have plus. So this sign has changed to plus. Now look at this one. Plus S squared minus S squared. It's like saying plus 1 minus 1. Plus 1, you have 1 error with you. Minus 1, you are going 1 error. If you take the 1 error you have with you, for the 1 error you are going, it will be left with nothing. Meaning this and this has cancelled. Now here, minus 17, you are going 17 error. And if plus 3, you have 3 error with you. If you take 3 error from 17 error, you will be left with, be left with 14 error. So here, you have minus 14x. Then take this plus 42 down, we have plus 42. We move again. X goes in minus 14x, meaning that minus 14x divided by x, x cancel x, we have minus 14. Minus 14 times x, minus 14x. Minus times minus, we have plus. 40 times 3, we have 42. We subtract again. Minus times minus, plus. Minus times plus, minus. Now, minus 14 plus 14. I'm weighing 14 naira. I have 14 naira with me. If I pay the money I'm weighing away from the money I have, I will be left with nothing. Then, plus 42 minus 42 also, zero. So, which means that the other factors of x squared minus 17x plus 42 is x minus 14. x minus 14. Let's say it equals to zero. Take this one here. We have x is equals to 14. So the roots of this equation, the roots of this equation are the first root given to us is 3, 3 or 14. So this is how to undergo this particular type of question. If you are given a root, use the root to get your normal equation, then use a long division method to arrive at the other roots. Example 4. 7 and minus 3 are the roots of the quadratic equation. x squared plus kx minus 21 is equal to 0. What is the value of k? This is a direct question. Since both of them are the roots of this equation, we can use any of these roots to arrive in getting our value of k. Let our x here equal to 7. Or let's s equals to minus 3. You can use any one. So we have s squared plus kx minus 21 is equal to 0. So let's substitute here. 7 squared plus k multiplied by 7 minus 21 is equal to 0. 7 squared is 7 times 7. That is 49. Plus k times 7, 7k minus 21 is equal to 0. Now let's connect like 10. 7k. This has a sign of plus, plus 49, minus 21 is equal to 0, 7 k. Now, I have 49 naira with me, and I'm going 21 naira. Take away 21 naira from the 49 naira you have with you. You are going to have plus 28 naira, meaning that the money that remains is yours, equals to 0. So take this one here. We have 7 k is equal to positive sign with cross changes to minus 28. The next is to divide both sides by 7. So we have 7k divided by 7 is equal to minus 28 divided by 7. 7 cancel 7. So k equals to minus 7 here and 7 here for minus 4. So that's the value of k. So when you use minus 3 as well, you are going to get similar answer. So thank you for watching. If you are a new member on this channel, kindly subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell for my subsequent lessons. And don't forget to share to other learners in order to benefit on this channel. If you are our usual member, I say thank you for standing with us and believing in us. Thank you very much.